All right, how's it going? I'm standing here in the Central Park of St. Joe, Texas. It's an awesome little town here on the 82 as I'm heading down towards Sanger. And it was cool because all these buildings here are old. They had the Stonewall Saloon, which was named after Stonewall Jackson, built in 1873. And there's another building over here, H.C. Fry or Free, and it's got the date of 1889 on it. It's just an awesome little town that we stopped at. And we're, we're in this little antique store, and Rocket tells me, well, they don't take ATM cards or anything. They only take cash or checks. I thought it was kind of unusual that there's a business that takes checks. But apparently, they trust the checks more than they trust the electronic payments in this neck of the world. Hey, you can hear this truck going by. It's a truckload of horses. That's the most horses I've ever seen on a single truck. I wonder where they're going. Looks like a cattle truck only with horses. Anyway, she had to go to the ATM to get money for to buy all the things she was buying in. It's one of those shops where they have things on consignment. So she's looking through these things and if you've been following us for a while, Rocket is into all kinds of different stuff. And one of the things is postcards. And she found a whole stack of postcards and she wanted to find out, well, if I want to buy all of them, how much would, would the person sell them for? And it's a shop that does work on consignment. So she, the clerk called the person that owns the stuff and she says yeah there's a lady here that wants to buy all your things how much do you want for them well she had no idea she didn't know what to do and so she said look on the back there's prices and they're really low she we flipped them over and they're the price are written in the back in pencil if you're looking at 10 cents, 5 cents, whatever. And it wasn't that big. Maybe, yay, stack of postcards. And I was telling the clerk, I said, you know, if the woman had, had offered Rocket to, like, the whole lot of them for 10 or $20, she probably would have bought all of them. And they'd have made more money selling the whole lot at once and cleared their inventory. Everything would have been cool. But most people don't think that way. As a marketer, you've got to look at, it's always about the offer. Now you can sell all those cards and normally, I would say in most cases, you're probably gonna make more money if you part them out and sell one at a time. And there's something to be said for that, unless of course you have the mind you just want to move inventory. But even if you have to make a discount, if someone's there and you know clearly that they want what you've got, think about ways where you can spice that offer up and see what you can come up with, maybe make up the difference. For instance, it, that woman had an entire boot there and, and Rocket bought several other things and she might have said, well, I'll sell you the whole lot for $15 if you spend $30 at the booth, whatever. See, this does this thinking is not going to come naturally to most people. So if you're new to marketing and sales, always keep in mind there is something that you can do that doesn't necessarily have to be money to make the sale go through. And if you're always thinking that way, you're you'll be amazed at the different ideas you can come up with how to make a, a more attractive offer to the customer that's right in front of you and not only will they get what they want you will make more sales and more money which is what you want. that's all i got for today hey don't forget to stop by marketingyabber.com brand new forum get on there get a free blog and you can set up your pictures and everything and we're looking for marketers like you to help us make that a place where people can go and learn and share and generally make it a better place than a social media club for everybody. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm out.